so i got these new skincare and body care products from urban hydration they are woman owned and black owned as you can see there period um and i'm going to actually show you guys uh the face wash and how all that works and i can't wait to open these these look like they're about to be fantastic so i'm going to start with the peach and papaya body wash kit that they gave me first of all this smells absolutely amazing i opened it i smelled it it's just like i love it it's absolutely amazing um i did actually use it you will see a reel on it um on my instagram uh, but it's made my body feel like absolutely amazing the whole entire set they sent me the peach and papaya sugar scrub this right here i absolutely love this it made my body feel like super soft like my skin is glowing right now um and then they also sent me the body oil now i use this in the shower um, you can use it outside of the shower and everything, but I just wanted to try it in the shower and see how it was going to make me feel and what it was going to do for my skin. And like I said, I'm glowing. This whole peach and papaya body kit is absolutely amazing. Um, I feel like it's a 10 out of 10 as far as products are concerned. Everything is organic. Everything, again, is woman owned and black owned. So why not just use it? It's amazing and I love it. Okay, so first things first, the bottle, everything about it is like amazing. I opened it. Again, this one smells amazing as well. I'm actually about to wash my face now and see the results and see if it's giving what it's supposed to. Okay, so one thing that I like about these products right here is that it's really like clear and sheer um and it smells absolutely amazing as soon as i put it on my face it just smells so good i really like this a lot uh so pretty much i'm really just washing my face real quick trying to make sure that i get all of my old makeup and stuff off of my face from last night and of course i always put it on my neck as well just to kind of make sure that i just i like a clean face my face always needs to be clean so yeah so for me i like to use a cold wash rag or towel just cold water in general to rinse all of the facial wash off of my face and my neck i prefer cold water just because it was like closes your pores and everything like that so like i said that's my preference a lot of people do use warm water if you use warm water that's completely up to you i prefer cold water of course I'm going to pat my face dry and if you can see like my face is already like extremely shiny it's actually looking really good I already have pretty good skin already as it is um, and my skin is kind of like very sensitive so when I found out about these products I had to jump on it immediately <laughs> I needed to try the aloe vera products that they have I feel like they were gonna do something for my skin. I just felt like it was just gonna give what it was supposed to. So I'm gonna be doing a full face wash situation. So for me today, um, because I have not done a face mask in probably about a week or so, I'm going to go in with their facial mask. And like I said, everything about their products, what I genuinely enjoy is that they're all clear. So there's, you can't, see any impurities or anything in their products so with these of course i have nails so i have to do it like this but with this here i'm just going to put it on my face and you're supposed to leave it on your face for about 15 minutes so after i put this on i'm just going to go sit and chill for a little bit and then um i will come back and show you guys the result okay so it's been about 15 minutes and same process as the facial wash again i use cold water to rinse off the facial mask anything on my face honestly i always use cold water like i said before uh, i actually did like this mask it felt like it was penetrating my skin and it gave me like a really nice glow if you guys can see i look my skin looks great i love it it's fantastic so then afterwards of course you gotta pat dry again so next we're gonna be using their toner um i don't know about anybody else but for me i always love a good toner i like to keep my face all toned in 
one color, one complexion. I don't like like dark spots and everything like that. So I always make sure that every day I tone my face and I use these pads. You can use cotton balls, um, people use towels, you know, whatever it is that you can use to just tone your face. Just make sure that you tone your face. It's like a must. Every single time that you wash your face, it doesn't matter what kind of toner that you use, but this toner right here, it smells good. It smells good all over my face. And it actually feels like it's getting just the rest of the dirt if there is any off of my face. And of course, always do your neck. And sometimes I go just behind my ears and stuff too. Really just trying to get everything off of my face for real. And then after the toner, I'm going to go in with the daily moisturizer. Now the moisturizing gel, it's, it's a gel. It's not like a regular moisturizer. So we're gonna see how this actually works. So it's pretty much the same consistency as the face wash and the face mask. Um, smells good, of course. They all pretty much smell the same. Ooh, that's really smooth. Ooh, I like that. Yeah. Yeah, it feels like, I don't know if any of you guys ever put aloe vera on your face before. I usually do in general, but this feels really just like the plant. This feels really good. Yeah, I like that a lot. And if you are using a moisturizer, always make sure that you're getting your neck. That was something that I was always told is always use your neck at all times. And that makes my face feel like absolutely amazing. It's like a cooling feel on my face. It doesn't feel very heavy like most moisturizers. And it feels like it just really left my face glowing. It's something about this that's keeping my face bright, vibrant, glowing. And that's what I love. I love for my face to always be bright and shining at all times. I don't really wear makeup like that. so. My substitute is always just facial washes and cleansers and of course a good, a really good moisturizer and it really just started to set into my skin. So yeah, that actually looks really nice. I like that. So the next product that we're going to use is the last one. It is the aloe vera leaf spot cream. So the spot cream is supposed to pretty much get rid of any dark spots, red spots, um, and it's supposed to help with your smooth skin, making sure that your skin is really smooth and it's supposed to detox your skin. So we're gonna see how this actually works. It says to put just a thin layer on the affected area. I'm about to put it on my whole face, just a very small thin layer and just see how it feels. So I have that. This is actually a cream, um, which is different than the rest of the kit. So let's see how this goes very well. It's really soft. It should go blending nice with the moisturizer I just put on my face. Yeah. Oh yeah, that feels nice. That smells really good too. Yeah, they all pretty much have a really good scent. And for me personally, because I have sensitive skin, I'm not really supposed to be using things that have like a scent, especially not on my face. However, these products, it's more of like a clean scent. It's not like perfumey, which I like. I'm just gonna put some on my forehead too says the affected area, but listen, we about to just try to see how that looks. I'm gonna pop it on my neck too. And that makes me feel, putting this right on top of my moisturizer, it actually feels like it set my moisturizer in a way. And this is pretty much, the final look as far as what your face is going to look like after you use these products. I feel like I look 
fantastic <laughs> i feel like my skin is glowing i'm definitely a fan of urban hydration um i'm giving these all of these products a 10 out of 10.